Hello everyone! Kumusta? My name is Che and welcome to my channel. Welcome back! And today I'm going to show you how to make this DIY wall plant pot hanger. I made this so that I can repot some of my orchids and create more space for new orchids. I actually bought pot holder from Shopee but it costs more or less 200 pesos per piece and I think I will be needing lots of this and I can't spend that much so for now I will DIY. I will make my own and I also have lots of this plastic pot so I will use them i will use what i have so that i won't spend more kay gasto ka ayo so para menos gastos i will use this i will use this aluminum wire and this is a 14 mm wire i can't find any more thicker than this so this is what i will use and i also have here my plier and a clay pot I will use this to make a circle of wire and I made a mark here. This is where I will place the wire and form a circle that will fit my plastic pot. You can use any round items that you have there in your house as long as it will fit your pot. Now I will show you how to make it and I am holding my 31 inches GI wire and I'm holding both ends and then i will place it on the pot and bend it towards me and as you can see i place it where i made the mark holding both ends of the wire helps me to make the circle at the center i am now making the circle that will hold my pot and i will just do it like this press it together and then twist and i'm not an expert on this so please forgive me if i don't show you how to make this as easy as it should be let me try this again so i am forming a circle on the mark that i made and it will be easier if i have other hand to hold the wire in place then i'm twisting it and this will lock the circle which will hold the pot and this one yan and so i made the circle and i will just use the plier to lock the wires together And I am done with the first and hardest part of making this pot hanger. And as you can see, this is not a perfect circle, but it will do the job. And now I am bending the wires upward, the two wires. So I'm bending it like this upwards. And... I will bend this again and this will be the holder and then bend the two wires again downwards. You can adjust this depending on your wall or fence. And this is done. <laughs> Let's do this again on the floor so that it will be easier and faster. So just like before, I am holding both ends of the wire and then place it on the pot on the mark and bend it towards me and then to make it easier I will hold the wire in place with my feet <laughs> please excuse the view but this is easier so hold the wire and then use your feet to hold the wire in place and just like that i twisted the wire very easily 
and then I'll use the plier again to lock them together. That was easy here, right? <laughs> so I'll just secure the lock by pressing this firmly and then I will make the final step which is to bend the wire upwards. And you can adjust the width and the length depending on your wall or your fence or where you will hang this. And finished! So we made our second easier and faster hanger. So let's try this. And just right, just enough to fit my plastic pot. And I made some more. I learned how to make this from the internet. Just search for DIY pot holder. And also from my YouTube friend, Lynn Brooks. She also has a video on how to make this even easier i hope that you'll check that out i will include a link of her video in the description this is my denrobium and i will repot her into a plastic pot this is my white doraemon and because i used 14 mm gi wire i think it cannot hold a clay pot because this is very heavy so I will repot her in a plastic pot. I soak the pot in the water first before I remove the orchid from the pot. So after soaking I will now remove her from the pot and I will remove this first. So now I will pull her out from the pot. So now I will clean the roots and I will remove the coconut husk. I have this orchid for I think more than a year now and the husk is already soft and degraded and the roots of the orchids here are already gone so i will remove the coconut husk and i will also remove some of the canes i have removed the coconut husk and now i will take out some of the old canes not all of the old canes but just the canes with no roots but this one i think will still make a new growth so i will just remove this again so i will just clean the roots and then i will replant this in a plastic pot I have cleaned the roots and I have also applied hydrogen peroxide to the roots. I will also reuse the charcoal that I used with this orchid. I have already washed this. Before planting this, I will apply cinnamon powder on the wound. And if you don't have cinnamon powder, just let it dry first before planting it again. So I am now planting her in this plastic pot and I will just show you after I'm done. And I am done potting her. I used only charcoal so she is in pure charcoal and in a plastic pot. That means she is not heavy which is very important because I used only 14 mm of GI wire. Let's try it here. I place the holder or hanger here and then I will place my orchid. So let's see. And done! Yay! 
I think I saved a space and I need to do this with my other orchids. And I did it with my other orchids. This is under my Vandas. And this is also an experiment to see if the dendrobiums will grow well under these Vandas, which I try to water at least twice a day. So I will see and hopefully they will do well. <laughs> and here are my orchids in the pot holder which I bought from Shopee. Of course, these ones are better. These can even hold clay pots, but I saved money on the ones that I made. And I also added two more here. Thank you for being with me. I hope that you like this video. Check out my other DIY videos. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam. See you on my next videos.